Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In this video, we are going to uh, solve an exact differential equation, and we see this differential equation is highly seem to be highly nonlinear. You see, it is nonlinear in uh, both x and y. Uh, but we check that um, whether it is exact or not. So in this differential equation, m is given is e m is equal to 2y minus y cos xy and n is equal to 2x e 2y minus x cos xy plus 2y now we check it for exactness so differentiate m with respect to y this is equal to 2e 2y uh, minus cos xy plus differentiate cos that will be minus sign so the sign become plus xy sin xy now differentiate n with respect to x is equal to that is 2e2y minus cos xy and then cos will become plus and with respect to x I will get x and y and sin xy so both are equal that mean partial m partial y partial n partial x so the given differential equation is exact now we want to solve this differential equation so we know n is equal to partially or partial y that is equal to from the previous slide is 2x e 2y minus x cos x y and plus 2y if we integrate this equation with respect to y we will get f and if it f is our answer so f of x y i'm integrating with respect to y so that will give me x e to y with respect to y uh, that is uh, minus ka minus sine sine x y uh, plus y square and some function let's call the g of x so this is uh, the answer if we find g of x so g of our g of x we will differentiate this with respect to x and that will give me e to y uh, minus uh, with respect to x so this will be y cos x y and g dash x but you see this must be equal to m so what is m m is e to y minus y cos x y that is m uh, is equal to 
is equal to e two y minus y cos x y plus g dash of x. So this cancel with this one and that cancel with this one. So that mean g dash of x is equal to zero and that implies g of x is a constant so f is equal to if i plug this g in this equation i will get uh, f of x y and that is the solution so f of x y is equal to x e to y minus uh, sin x y sin x y plus y square and plus some constant this is uh, the solution of the given given differential equation we see that that differential equation is highly nonlinear but if it is exact, we have a procedure and we can solve that easily. So, if a differential equation seems to be nonlinear, but check for exactness if it is fine that it is exact.